All right, Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rechach, Kodash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect. Believe it on the word, say Yahweh, Bahashim. Have a shot. And it's just so much going on. Prophecy is really laying hold to the planet Earth, man. <laughs> you know, from the wildfires, you know, to these certain storms. Oh, I seen a uh, story today in Arkansas where they're receiving hail, you know, large size, uh, I would believe it said like baseball size hail, you know, and you got different floods. Again, the wildfires, you know, you got so much going on. You got things still heating up in the Middle East, you know, you got uh, Taiwan and China back beefing in the South China Sea, you know, with America, Babylon the Great. So there's a lot of things going on, you know, and if you're not awakened, if you haven't been uh, quickened, by this word, you're going to be oblivious to the things that are going on. You know? What the scriptures say, that the vision <clears throat> is yet for an appointed time. Let's get that. And that's what we're saying. The vision is speaking. It's a lot of things going on. Perilous times, right? <clears throat> People being put to death over the most smallest things in the world, you know? <clears throat> Somebody get cut off in 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 in, in uh, traffic, you know. Next thing they doing, they pulling out the pistol and shooting at them, you know. I seen a woman, you know, real quick. So lucky for the for the long opening, but I seen a woman shoot her neighbor, man. You know, she just hopped out the car and went to shooting at her neighbor, and her neighbor was a pastor at that. Put him to death and wounded his wife, man. Well, these are the times we're in. So the vision is speaking. This is Habakkuk <clears throat> chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah, what's the vision? The prophecies, man. All right. The things that were set to come to pass, that were foretold before. It says, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And that's what we're seeing. The prophecies are not tearing. They're speaking loud and clear. But again, our people can't see it. Why? Because they haven't been quickened. They haven't been made alive. This is the book of Matthew. <clears throat> chapter 16 and verse 1. The Pharisees also, with the Sadducees, came. And tempting, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. And he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowing. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky. But can you not discern the signs of the times? And that's what we're in the middle of, man. The signs of the times. Matter of fact, <clears throat> real quick, let's look up this word signs. <clears throat> yeah, screw so you cannot discern the signs of the times. Right? We're in the middle of prophecy speaking. It's a phrase, the signs, Strong's H, 4592. It says, a sign, mark, token. Yeah, token. It says, that by which a person or thing is distinguished from others and is known. Right. That's how you want to know. Yahweh Shah did this. Because we were claiming the word. 
All right. We'll tell you beforehand the things that he said was going to come to pass. It says a sign prodigy portent, i.e. an unusual occurrence, <laughs> an unusual occurrence transcended the common course of nature. Yeah, it's going to be miracles, man, <laughs> being pushed forth. All right. And there's a miracle already occurred, man, with this word being preached. All right. The Lord woke us out this dead estate. Now we done stood upon our feet and fear has followed upon the nations, man. That's a sign, right? Ezekiel 37, those dry bones, you know, it says a sign. It's like it says a signs portending remarkable events soon to happen. See that soon to happen. So we'll start with our positive elders. We've been telling you about uh, World War Three. The MOTB being implemented, right? Oh, the famine of the word. We didn't told you about these things. Well, guess what? Now they're soon to happen. They're right there at the door, right? Last one. It says of miracles. See, get ready for miracles. <coughs> Excuse me. Of miracles and wonders by which the Most High authenticates the men sent by Him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we're going to be justified in our sins, man. Because we telling you what Yahweh Bashar Shah said he was going to do. Right? It says, or by which men prove that the cause they are pleading is the most high. Yeah, the Lord said, uh, uh, we know his perfect will, man. And his perfect will is to bring this place down to his knees piece by piece. Scriptures say, I will beat my enemies Matter of fact, let's see if we can get that. Beat my foes. Let's see. Or enemies. Let's see. Hope I spelled it right. Uh, maybe beat down. My foes. Let's see. I know it's in Psalms. <clears throat> okay. Occurs five times in Kahalo, even like Yahweh by Shabbosha. Let's go to the scripture. Yep, Psalms. Chapter 89, verse 23. I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. Yeah, the Lord is sending out these certain plagues, man. And we know a plague is a pestilence, but it's also, matter of fact, let's see if we can look this word up real quick. <clears throat> no. Let's do a web search. Real quick, we can get it to do right. Come on, all right. There we go. Define, <clears throat> excuse me, define plague. It's a contagious bacterial disease, which I, which I do have a little information regarding that right characterized by fever and delirium right but it's also in the verb form causing continual trouble or distress to and that's what the lord is doing by being down our foes he's causing a continual trouble and distress to man so much folks these folks are fucking losing it man they're losing their fucking minds man you know <clears throat> what is that i wanted um uh, Matter of fact, let's get into the articles. Make sure. Yeah, let's get into the articles. Okay? We're not going to dive too deep into it. We're just going to hit them <laughs> and go to. Okay, Salaki, so we're back. Interrupted. 
But yeah, let's go through these articles real quick. Neurovirus cases are on the rise in the U.S. Here's what you should know about the symptoms. All right. And I seen an article last week regarding this. All right. Which is causing a almost like a stomach flu to the point where they where they can't stop using the bathroom, man. You know, and it's <laughs> and it completely drains them. It says neurovirus neurovirus cases are in, on the rise in the U.S., especially in the Northeast. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention said neurovirus, sometimes referred to as the stomach flu or stomach bug, is a common virus that's highly contagious and spreads through tiny particles of feces or vomit and results in gastrointestinal symptoms. Many neurovirus case, excuse me, many different neuroviruses can cause illness, the CDC says. But that's another plague that the Lord says he's going to send upon the world, man. You see? Next article from the People's Voice. <clears throat> it says, uh, WEF orders governments to arrest citizens who grow their own food. See that? This madman coming down with great wrath, man. See, we at the beginning stages of all sorrows being breaking out, man. You know? Let's go to the next article. Right? Pittsburgh police won't send officers to certain emergency calls. We'll redirect to telephone unit. So now you having a uh you now having the well they're not gonna uh allow you people all right to uh be able to uh, call for help man basically on certain emergency calls man you know things are heating up in the planet earth you know yeah again pittsburgh police won't send for officers to certain emergency calls well direct to telephone units see that so yeah the squeeze is getting ready to come down man that's the lawyer you hop by shower shy uh closing this thing up beautifully you know let's go to the next article <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. and this has been big the last uh week or so you see and this is part of the lord bringing on the family of hearing the word man which is all biblical prophecy see the vision is speaking and it's clear if you have eyes to see and ears to hear okay it says true those praying in public reading aloud from bible is hate speech to be severely punished and we know that we hold the testimony of our lord yahweh shah all right and our lord said the world cannot hate you but it hate me see we hold that testimony by his words we're going to be justified in our sayings so yeah we understand these things are going to set to come to pass <clears throat> let's go to the next article it says haiti declares state of emergency and poses nighttime curfew amid surging violence yeah man that perplexity is setting in man the sea and the waves rolling. Matter of fact, let's go get that real quick. We're going to come back to the articles. But you see, prophecy is speaking. You, you've you been quickened by your high by shower shy. You see these things coming to pass. It's evident. Luke chapter 21 and verse 25. And there shall be suns in the sun and in the moon. Yeah, we got a, a, another eclipse. Another, as they call it, great eclipse. A great American eclipse. You see how the Lord do those do that word play? This is Babylon the Great was the height of wickedness. Well, guess what? That that uh that eclipse, all right, <laughs> makes the ah, right, <clears throat> and the thawa, a tha, ah and tha, right? The uh, uh, alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. You know, yeah, man, this place is gonna be destroyed. By way of thermonuclear fire, X marks the spot. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth, distress of nations. Yeah, that's what you see going on in Haiti. Distress of nations. Haiti declares state of emergency, imposing 
Nighttime curfew amid surging, surging violence. See? It says, and upon earth, distress of nations with perplexity. And we often go into that word perplexity. All right. It means to be without resources. And the ultimate resource they're going to be without is answers, man. They're not going to know which way to turn or how to go about their business. It says the sea and the waves roaring. Again, a metaphor. All right. For the uproars of the people in the world, man. You see? Let's go back to the articles. <clears throat> it says the Texas Panhandle fire have burned nearly as much land in one week as thousands did in four years in the state. See that? Well, the Lord said he's going to visit this place with storm and tempest. And a matter of fact, let's just go get it. Right? All right, we're back. Salaki again, you know. All right, conditions of the battle. Uh, what was that? Uh, these wildfires. Isaiah chapter 29, right? And uh, verse 6, it says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake. Yeah, we've seen a whole bunch of earthquakes going down, man. And great noise with storm and tempest. I just mentioned the storm, all right, uh, that's moving across the United States. The one that caused the, the, the blizzard in California, in the uh, Sierra Nevada, right? Also, it's causing great hail in the state of Arkansas right now, right? It says, and the flame of devouring fire. Yeah, what's going on in the Texas Panhandle? That flame of devouring fire, see? So much so, it, it has exceeded what has happened in the state in the last four years, man. See? Let's go to the next article. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, that's it right there on the articles. So let's get the pre-sales, man. What we see is going down. Okay? This is Second Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, save the Lord. Yeah, the vision, right? You go back to that Habakkuk, it says, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he that read may, that he may run that read of it, man. You see? It says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, you see them coming to pass. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. You go into that word incredulity, it means unbelief. So we ain't worried about it if you don't believe, man. We can care less. It says, they speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Right, you're going to die anyway. You don't believe. You're going to die. It says, Behold, say of the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And all those things we're seeing occur, man. All right? The famine is growing. You know? Death is, is, is heavily being pushed forth in the earth, man. Death angels are out. Again, people are being killed for the little smallest things, man. Right? It says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hope for works are fulfilled. Yeah, that's why you're seeing the uh, ramp up of prophecy. All right, then our Lord said he was going to, um, what is that, uh, Matthew? Except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So we're seeing things ramp up. Prophecies are coming by quicker and quicker, right? It says, <clears throat> For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hope for works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, 
neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And we're going to continue to cry out against this system, man. Continue to cry out against this world. All right? Why? Because it's in our spirit to, to, to um, seek righteousness, man. You know? Seeking the kingdom of where, where, uh, where righteousness dwell, man. We, we hate it here. And guess what? That's on the same wavelength and the same mind as Yahweh Bashar was shy. You see? I want to jump down. Uh, is it in this chapter? Let's see. Let's go to the next chapter. Chapter 16. Because all these things are, 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 are what the scriptures say. A scourge is for amendment. For you to get right, man. <clears throat> yeah, let's start at 17. Second Ezra 16 and 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? Yeah, these perilous times that we're in. Right? Desperate, dangerous times. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, yeah, bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. So we see everything happen. It's sent as a scourge for a minute for you to consider your ways and get right with your high by shower shot. It says, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So you have in your mind, these people have in their mind, oh, that's just mother nature. No, nah, man, those are signs of the return of our Lord, your shot, man. You know, and if you've been quickened in the fashion to understand these things, you're going to try and get right with your power. You see, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. Yeah, these people think themselves to be in good case, man. You can still go to the grocery store, you know, or your local mom and pop and get your provisions. Man, all that shit's going to be cut away real soon. You see, it says, even then shall evils grow upon earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion, right? Great confusion, man. Because these people don't have any answers, you know? It says, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So evil and only evil, man. That's what's being prepared. And we have the mind of Hamashiach, and we understand these things. So now we're looking... We're looking to be preserved. We know what to pray for, man. Yeah, these are the signs of the times, man. And we're right in the middle of, 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 of things in its conclusion as far as the, the kingdom, the rulership, the age of Esau, Edom, man. You know, that's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. Want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, coming at you in our lesson. Till the next time I say Shalom.